do I still can't believe that it's true I get hungry when I think of you Like champagne and caviar, you're such a treat Like cherries to believe, you're all so sweet You have my appetite, it's time we meet Oh, James, it's true I get hungry when I think of The Urban Peasant is brought to you by Whirlpool Home Appliances. A job well done. The Dairy Farmers of Canada, bringing something good to the table. In case you hadn't guessed, we're going to do squash today. All right, so we'll talk about squash in a minute. First of all, I'm going to put some spaghetti on to boil because spaghetti takes about 14 minutes and I just want to have that ready for the next dish we make. All right, so we'll dump that out there for now. Now, squashes come all sorts of shapes and sizes. This is a spaghetti squash. And if you look in this one, all those, well, you can't really see it, it's not cooked, but down there, it comes out in strands like spaghetti when you do it. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna cook a whole bunch of different bits of squash in the, in the oven just to show you how different squashes cook and cook simply and easily and they're very easy they're very cheap and they're very plentiful and they're very good so we just put bits of squash in a base in a bowl first of all just scrape them out and that'll do there's three bits of that that spaghetti squash you'll see what happens to it later when we do it this one is an acorn squash because it looks see the acorn at the bottom sticking out of it like that okay we just cut that one in half and there it is same thing again it's got a different colored flesh but you treat it exactly the same you just scoop the the, the seeds out of it cut the whisker off there cut it up in bits put it in there this one is the best of them all. This is a butternut squash. This one lasts forever. It's the easiest one to handle. It'll keep all winter. I've had these out on the back porch for as long as seven months. And just butternut is lovely, more warm tasting flesh. Okay, just scrape out the, the seeds and cut it up just to put it in there show you the simplest thing you can possibly do with squash just put it in there like that drizzle a little bit of oil over the top just not a lot just a little bit and you can go back and toss it when it's in the oven all right and put some pepper and salt on top of it and bung it in the oven and just let it cook You'll be, it's lovely and rich and wonderful. If you've never done it, then you've never done it. But you need to time you start it, okay? It'll take about half an hour. Now, what we're going to do now is make this spaghetti spoiling there. We're going to make a squash soup. And again, this is a very, very simple thing to do indeed. Some oil in a saucepan. And, well, we won't put the oil in yet. What we're going to do, first of all, in a hot saucepan, is put some cumin seed in there. Now, be fairly generous, all right? Cumin seed into a hot, hot pan and let it get hot for a minute. And while that's happening, cut up an onion. Uh, this one will do. We're just gonna make enough soup for two. How quickly you can do it. And this is a great alternative to, you know, the usual kind of crud or opening a can. Because if you do this, it'll smell nice. Search the smell now. Listen. Any of those little seeds popping? That's all. You just listen to them pop and then take them off before they burn. Now, we'll put some... That pan is hot because they're popping. So we'll put some oil in there. Get rid of that. Cut the onion up. All right. Put some oil in there, a couple of tablespoonfuls. 
of oil and a bit of garlic. Now we're not going to bother to even cut up the garlic because it's going to cook, it's going to be mushed up in there. So put them in whole. Put the onion in and then get yourself some some squash, all right? Which kind? It doesn't matter. Um, supposing we take this butternut squash for now, because it's such a nice color, and we have to peel it, which means cutting it up in pieces, and then peeling it like you would anything else. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna cut it in even smaller pieces, and then it's easier to do. Just cut the peel off the, the outside of it. You can do it from the top, like that. Cut it up in pieces and throw them into the, into the pot. Right. There's an extra bit. Yeah, that bit can go in there. Here's another bit to do. You cut the skin off in bits and chuck it in there. Bit more, I think, maybe, because there's gonna, perhaps it's two of you with big appetites. Um, cut the skin off the outside. There we go. Then cut it up. See, you don't have to be fussy or fancy, fancy gourmet. You just got squash, cumin, onions, and a bit of garlic in there and it's all getting buttered it's all getting that nice sort of start to cooking that, that something that tells you this is going to be nice okay that goes in there we need now what do we need some salt what else do we need some pepper you know that salt and pepper goes in there we've got cumin in there already now we want some stock if you're really stuck, you can use um, you can use cubes. If you're really provident, you can use once you froze in a ice cube tray, or you can have it in a jar. Doesn't matter which you do. Or as I say, cubes. If you get stuck, pour in the stock. That's enough for two of you. And that's what soup does. Soup cooks itself. It just gets on and does it. You can sit and watch it or listen to the radio, watch the television, talk to me, phone me, whatever you want to do. I'll be back in two minutes. We're going to make a great pasta sauce with squash. Squash time again. Right now, I'm going to put three or four sage leaves into the soup. She's just going to boil away and put it over there so it's out of the way and we can just let it continue to boil away. Now, got some pasta in the pot. We're going to make a sauce for pasta out of squash. This isn't so ridiculous as it sounds. There's a lot of nice things are done. The, the Italians make ravioli, which they stuff with squash and we put with, and they make sage butter to go with it. It's unbelievably good. I mean, you can do that sage butter. It's lovely. But we put the pan on here and we'll put, well, we let it get hot first and we get some squash ready to go. We're going to put, first of all, we'll cut an onion up and just get the skin off the outside. There we go. There we go. There and there, right. Right. Cut it up fairly small because we want the squash to be dominant here. Right. Oil. A couple of tablespoonfuls. And there, smudge it around in the hot pan and dump in the onion. Pepper, of course. And the more you fry pepper, 
the nicer the flavor it gets. It's not the kind of hotness that gets up your nose. It gets into all your nice arteries and cleans them out and makes you young all over again. The best tune up you can have is pepper and some garlic. Now I want this garlic. Whoops, I'm gonna use the garlic. See, this is flavoring for the squash. Squash is one of those things that takes flavors, like tofu, which I, maybe I shouldn't mention, but it brings it up and it expands the flavors. So I'm gonna grate some garlic. So that'll go in there quickly. I'm gonna grate it on the really fine grater. And then it'll go right into the flavorings of the onions and the squash right away. There we go. Look at that garlic. Dump that in there. Now we come to squash. We're gonna make this super sauce for pasta with squash. And squash is cheap. And 29 cents a pound sometimes, it's ridiculous. And you can use any kind of squash. That's the great thing about it. You can use this one if you want to. The only difficulty with this one is that it's a little bit harder to peel. And so you, you get, what I'm gonna do is cut it up in lumps and then just cut the most of the skin off so I've got a handle for it. Okay, there we go. Got that bit. And then you get, there's a piece that's cut. Let's get another piece of this butternut, the all-purpose squash. Okay, cut the outsides off. Like that. So all squashes are interchangeable. And here we go, grater. Some space here, coarse grade. Turn it around so you've got a bit sticking out and you won't get your fingers in it. There we go. That spare bit there, we'll put that in the soup. Waste not, want not. Almost enough. Let's do this bit. All right, now you can smell that onion already. You can smell the onion and the pepper and the garlic starting to be good. So we'll give it a stir. Mm, now you can smell it when the garlic comes up in a hurry like that. And then you just take the onion before it really changes color. You don't want it brown. You just want it sort of, there, dump in the pasta, this, the grated squash and stir that around. Now what happens now, you need some salt. Why do you need some salt? Well, salt, I keep telling you, sucks juices in and out of things and gives it, makes all the flavors mix, makes the juices come together. There we go. Well, that looks pretty good at the moment and that's just got to cook together and this is really all there is to it we've got to put another flavoring in it with it we're going to put some rosemary here's rosemary get the leaves off the stalk chop it up a little bit and toss that in there give it a stir this, there that's the lovely smell take the pasta the spaghetti to the sink. Here we go. Keep a little bit of the water in case you need it. All right. Get yourself a big bowl. Big, big harvesty looking plate. Pasta on the plate. Get some yogurt out of the fridge. And Throw the yogurt into the grated cooked pasta. Give it a stir. Look, like this. Golden looking. 
wonderful dump the whole thing right on top there let me show you see it comes out and it's lovely and you put a little bit of red pepper on that if you want to make it very pretty it's nice easy squash more in the oven more in the pot i'll be back grated spaghetti so we put some spicy green olives on top of it look at that that's just great that looks wonderful no soup is in there we just finished that in a minute in fact i'll turn it off right now because it's boiled and that's just great um what do we do next make a salad so when you're going to just cook just about anything the first thing you start with is an onion we're going to use a red onion and we're going to cut it as thin as we possibly can dragging the knife through it to cut it thin All right. just get a nice brilliant colored red onion and get yourself a nice big salad bowl okay that's enough there for now and get yourself we'll just cut that up a little bit smaller but not too small because we want it to be you want salad so you can get your teeth into something don't get all mushed up we'll do it in this bowl i think that's the best one to do in get some salad greens it doesn't matter if it's lettuce or whatever just whatever you've got you put in there okay we'll put the onions on top of it and spread them all out and think of a salad as a little bit of sculpture that you're making a little bit of pretties okay we need some other get this out of the way so you can see we need some tomato. Tomato, you want to cut it in slices or you want to cut it in chunks. It's your decision, but you have to cut it up because it's a salad. All right, so we'll put that around there like that. Don't forget that we've got all that nice squash cooking in the oven. So we have to get that up before we finish. There, that's that egg right some hard-boiled eggs right another one yeah so you got these vegetarians coming to supper and you don't sometimes want to eat what they eat so you put that eggs in the middle of it like that okay we've got a little bit of yellow pepper to give it some color so we'll just cut that up into dice if it doesn't want to cut then you go from the other side there you are and it's pieces right don't have to fuss all the time Take that around the edge there like that. Now we're going to make a dressing. Olive oil. And when you make a dressing, about three times as much olive oil as acidy stuff. Acidy stuff this time is going to be lemon juice. Squeeze the lemon juice in there till it sinks to the bottom. Then you can see how much you've got in there. All right, a bit of salt and a good shake. There it is, it's the dressing, okay? Now, I've got some leftover squash in the fridge and this is what we use as the main focus of the salad. It's a squash salad. People will freak, they will say, oh boy, squash salad never heard of that and you say no you haven't ever heard of it and afterwards they're ecstatic because it tastes different you know I just cut that up into chunks and what you really got to do with this is to remember that the squash is going to take up all the flavors of the nice things you put in there there's a bit oh I've got to peel off it just get that out of the way here's a bit more Here's a bit more. Here's a bit more. 
Right. Just chop it. Not very much. Just make sure that it's there enough to see. Put lots of pepper on top of it. All right. And put it on top of the salad. Right in the middle. And pour the dressing on top. I'll do that in a minute. Soup. We've got to put cream in it. So we just put some cream in it right now and we'll whiz it up. I'll do that during the break. So come back, sort it all out. There we go. Right. All right, now let's go. Soup. Put it into this nice bowl and garnish it. There. James. Hi. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. I really Did like I leave you, the door open? You, you know, I really uh, like what you've done to this place. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Very nice. Yeah. 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 What you got there? I, I, I came with the lease. You've got to sign the lease here. Oh, okay. Come and see. I've just yeah. got to move because i got to hang yeah. on a minute. Sorry and about you can well, There's our... There's our nice pumpkin. Now, what you do with that, what I love to do is pour a little bit of maple syrup over the top and give it to the kids. Baked pumpkin with maple syrup on it is wonderful. And then I've got to put some feta cheese on that salad. Sorry about this, Jack, but I got crying. That's there. There we go. And that's it. And I pour the dressing over the top. And there we are. You think of squash as an alternative to meat. You know, just think of something else. You don't have to eat meat every day. I, I love to eat meat, but sometimes things like squash, they got that meatiness, that certain little bit of chewiness, a little bit of butter, a little bit of some nice flavors. But that's good eating. Yeah. Thank you very much. That was great. You know, simple stuff. Squash couldn't be much simpler than that, but it's nice. You just try it. Let's have supper. Come on. Let's go. Do we have to share this with anybody? Or? No, just you and me. Okay. So I hope you're hungry. Thank you.